Namaste, beautiful. Welcome to practice. Today we are going hard. So come with energy, come ready to sweat because we're going to use a lot of energy and we are most likely going to sweat quite a lot. Yeah. All right. So this practice is inspired by the trees and how strong they were yesterday. Yesterday I experienced my first major hurricane and I was just so impressed and inspired by the strength of the trees. So I wrote this practice and I marked it yesterday. I did not do it in completion. So we'll see how that goes. We will find out together <laughs> how it goes. <laughs> So this practice is a lot more workout-y than I usually teach and also than I usually do. However, there was a point in my life that I practiced like this a lot, like every day. So yoga is not a workout, right? And yoga can be a workout in my opinion that's an opinion thing other people might have different opinions on that to me yoga the asana practice the physical movement practice is about intention so when we go to the gym usually most people have the intention of getting stronger maybe of appearing stronger, appearing in a certain way. If we're practicing yoga and it is something that is more of a workout, then yeah, sometimes we will be doing that for the purpose of getting physically stronger. And I think it's also important to have other intentions in mind in order for us to be actually practicing yoga. So yeah, I was, I'm, you can see a little bit of the trees that have fallen. They didn't fall completely though. They are bent and the rest of these trees on this side of the house did an amazing job, but I mean, they were just moving all directions. The wind was probably about a hundred miles an hour, according to the storm. Uh, and man, they stayed strong. And my life has taught me that <laughs> there are times that we do need to be physically strong in order to protect ourselves or maybe in order to protect others. So that in itself can be, I think, an intention of our yoga practice. And more often we need to be strong mentally. And when we are using the asana practice to strengthen our physical body, then it by default, as long as we are doing it with intention, is going to also strengthen our mentality. It's going to strengthen our mind. So let's be aware of that as we move into the practice. So we're going to do a little warm up and then kind of move right into it. We'll do it a few times and we'll cool down. It's probably going to be a bit shorter than usual, but I honestly don't really know. Ah, but to even make it more yoga-y, <laughs> I would like for us to start the traditional Hatha way. So we're gonna start cross-legged, seated, <clears throat> and then we're going to warm up our joints and then we're going to do a little bit of pranayama of kapalabhati before then we move into the practice. So the purpose of kapalabhati is to get the heat going in the body. So I'm already sweating <laughs> because I'm actually starting quite late today. But when we get that heat going before starting, it can kind of take the place of 
maybe drinking a pre-workout or something like that. So yeah, if you want to try maybe doing this without a pre-workout, without caffeine, that is great. Also, if you want to drink caffeine, that's totally fine. I have drank caffeine before many a yoga practice in the past and that's okay. I didn't today. <laughs> I haven't in months, but it does feel amazing. So <laughs> do as feels best for you always. Huh. I thought that there were fewer bugs, but they always start to come out when I come out. Maybe they just want to hang out. Well, we'll see what that caterpillar thing does. Anyway, <laughs> let's go into our centering. So taking whatever cross-legged position feels most comfortable for you right now. And we're just going to center for a couple of minutes. So taking the hands to the knees, face up if you want, or face down is also fine. Gyan Mudra or not Gyan Mudra whichever feels best for you in this moment. Find your comfort, find your nice straight spine. Close down the eyes. Breathing naturally. Becoming aware of the body, any sensations that you might feel in the body. Maybe assess how physically strong it feels right now. Becoming aware of where you are seated in the room or wherever you are. And drawing the attention inwards. Becoming aware of the self. And with all of this awareness, let's go ahead and blink open the eyes. And let's get to warming up the joints. So you can keep whatever cross-legged position that you're in, or you can switch it up, make it a little bit more comfortable if you'd like to. And let's start with the neck. So inhaling and looking back and up. And exhaling, bringing the chin to the chest. 10 times, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And let's circle it out. So circling back with an inhale and down with an exhale. 10 times one direction, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And circling the other direction, inhale back, exhale forward, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Let's move into the wrists, bring the hands out, inhaling and flexing the wrists up, exhaling and pointing them down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make fists with the hands and inhale and circle up and exhale and circle down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other direction. Inhale up, circle down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Let's reach the arms out. Inhale, touch the shoulders. Exhale, straighten the arms. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring the hands back to the shoulders. And we're going to work out the shoulders now. So we'll inhale and bring the elbows together and bring them up, 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 up and exhale, bring them down and together as much as possible. Bring the shoulder blades together. Inhale up, exhale two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten and switching directions. So inhaling up and exhaling, bringing the elbows together, bringing them down. Oh. And switching directions. Inhale, bringing the shoulders, bringing the elbows up toward the ceiling. Exhale, bring them down in the front. Inhale, shoulder blades together, elbows up. Exhale, down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Let's get into the feet. Outstretch the legs. And inhale. Pull the toes towards us. Exhale, squeeze the toes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Into the ankle. So inhaling, flexing the feet completely. Exhale, point the toes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, getting into the knees. Let's really pay attention to our knees. We're going to get into our knees a lot in this practice. Flexing the bottom foot as well, flexing the top foot, holding underneath the right hamstring with the hands, inhaling up, exhaling down, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch legs. Taking the fingers, interlacing them, placing them underneath the left hamstring, flexing both feet. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, bend it. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10, switch legs again. Now we're gonna circle. Taking the fingers, interlacing them, placing them onto the hamstring. Circling up and exhale, circle down. Two, three, nice straight back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Circle the other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch legs. Hands onto that left hamstring again. And circle up, exhale down, two, three, straight back, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, switch directions, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Check it out for a second. Take the feet, bring them in toward the center, getting into the hips. Take the hands, bring them to the feet, hold the feet together, and begin to flap your body for eye wings, bring the knees down toward the floor as much as possible, trying to make sure that as we flap down, we are flapping in such a way that it is deeper than our natural opening. Push, 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 push. Keep going. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, <laughs> one. Woo! All right. And then we're going to fold forward over the feet, bringing the heart down toward the feet. You can slide your butt back slightly if you want. So, folding forward. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nice and slowly. First time really getting into those hips today. Bring the chin down toward the floor, being sure to keep the back as straight as possible here, not too much rounding in the spine, and have nice posture. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Let's inhale it up. And let's once again cross the legs. You can cross them in the opposite direction as they were before, or doesn't really matter that much. And now we're going to get into our twist. So inhaling, bringing the arms up, exhaling, taking the left hand to the right knee, the right hand behind us, looking behind us. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, right hand, left knee, left hand behind us, looking back. Inhale, to the right. Inhale, to the left. Inhale, right. Inhale, left, three. Inhale, right. Inhale, left, four. Inhale, right. Inhale, left, five. Inhale, five more, right. Inhale, left, six. Inhale, right. Inhale, left, seven. Inhale, right, inhale, left, eight, inhale, right, inhale, left, nine, inhale, right, inhale, left, ten. All right. All right, so as you might be able to see, <laughs> I just had some help in fixing some of the tree problems over here. So I had to stop for a second, but 
let's get back to it. So let's go into our Kapalabhati. So Kapalabhati, we are exhaling forcefully through the nose, allowing for passive inhale through the nose. And so we're going to do it 50 times. So we're using the contraction of the abs to exhale through the nose. And then after 50 times, we're going to do a little bit longer exhale. And then we're going to inhale all of the air. We're going to hold the air in for about 20 seconds. And then we're going to exhale all the air out. And then we're going to hold it for about 10 seconds. And we're going to do three rounds of that with about a minute of natural breathing in between. Yeah? All right. So the purpose of this is so that we can be getting nice and warm so we can be getting more energy. So this is kind of as like a replacement for a pre-workout. So <laughs> you can totally take a pre-workout if you want to, drink caffeine if you want to, do whatever you want. But yeah, so we're, we're doing this to give us that energy that we're going to definitely need before we go into this practice. All right, well, let's get to it. So let's close down the eyes. Taking the hands to the knees, they can either be facing up or facing down. Breathing naturally for about a minute. All right, and inhale for Kapalabhati. And begin, 50 rounds, go. Inhale. Hold the breath. And whenever you can't hold the breath in any longer, then go ahead and release it and then hold the breath out. And when you can no longer hold the breath out, then just go ahead and, and start breathing naturally again.
round two, inhale. And 50 rounds, go. And when you finish 50 rounds, exhale completely, and then inhale deeply, and hold the breath in for as long as you can. And when you can't hold the breath in any longer, then go ahead and exhale completely and hold the breath out for as long as you can. And when you can't hold the breath out any longer, just go ahead and start breathing naturally again. And inhale for round three and 50 rounds. Go. And when you finish 50 rounds, breathe out all the air and then inhale completely and hold the breath in. And when you can't hold the breath in any longer, exhale completely and hold the breath out. And when you can't hold the breath out any longer, return to breathing naturally through the nose one last time.
All right, and let's blink open the eyes. Beautiful. Now we're just gonna move into a short little warm up. So let's come on to hands and knees here. So let's just take some cat cows. So inhaling, arching the back, looking up at the nose or between the eyes. Exhaling to round the spine. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Just really concentrating on moving the body as much as possible. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch, exaggerate it. Exhale, round, also exaggerate it. Let's do three more. Inhale, exaggerate it. Exhale, exaggerate it. Two more, inhale. Exhale, round. Last one, inhale. Arch. Exhale, round. All right. Let's tuck the toes and push the hips up and back, down facing dog. And let's walk it out a bit. So bending the knees, moving the hips, doing whatever feels good to you in this moment. And to the shoulders a little bit if you want. All right. Inhale, reach the right foot up. Three-legged dog. Exhale, let's bend the knee and open the hip here, keeping the shoulders square. Inhale, back to three-legged dog. Exhale, right foot comes between the hands, left knee comes down, left back of the foot comes down. Let's reach the arms up and arch a little bit. Exhale, back to half split, taking the hands back behind us. Inhale, low lunge, arch a bit. Exhale, half split. Fold over the front leg. Inhale, arch. Exhale, half split. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, half split. One more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, half split. Inhale, reach the arms up and exhale, rotate to the side into Skandasana. We're just gonna work out Skandasana a bit because we are going to be doing this in the practice. So let's inhale through center, exhale the Skandasana on the left. Inhale through center, exhale, skandasana on the right. One more time, over, inhale to the left, exhale, find the left. Inhale through the center, exhale, over to the right. Bring the left hand down, let's work our sadhu pose. So rotating, exhaling into sadhu. Inhale up to pyramid. Five times, inhale, or exhale, sorry, down to sadhu. Inhale up to pyramid. Exhale, sadhu. Inhale, pyramid. Exhale, sadhu. Inhale, pyramid. Last one, exhale, sadhu. Inhale, pyramid. And exhale, come down onto the knee. Bring the hands down. Inhale, up to three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the right foot down. Let's do the other side. Inhale, left foot comes up. Exhale, keep the shoulders square and bend the left leg. Inhale, back to three-legged dog. Exhale, 
Step the left foot between the hands. Bring the right knee down. Bring the right top of the foot down. Inhale the arms up, arching slightly. Exhale, back to half split, folding over the front leg. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, half split. 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 I think we did six on the other side. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, half split. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Rotate over to Skandasana on the left. Inhale, through center. Exhale, Skandasana on the right. Inhale, through center. Exhale, Skandasana on the left. Inhale through center, exhale, skandasana on the right. Inhale through center, exhale, skandasana on the left. Place the right hand down. Inhale, begin to rotate. Exhale, coming into sadhu. Inhale, up to pyramid, modified pyramid. Exhale, down to sadhu. Inhale, up to pyramid. Exhale, sadhu. Inhale. Exhale, sadhu. One more, inhale. Exhale, sadhu. Inhale, up to pyramid. Exhale, back down to low lunge, placing the hands down. And inhale, the left foot up. Exhale, left foot comes down. Let's come up onto the toes and walk the feet forward toward the hands. And when you reach the hands, go ahead and drop the heels, grab a hold of opposite elbows with both hands and move it out here, ragdoll. Nice stretch in those hamstrings before we work them out. Allow the hands to drop by the sides and inhale up to standing. Exhale, hands come to heart center. All right, let's just do a few sun salutations here to get even more warmed up. <laughs> and then we're gonna get into it. So let's take three times sun sal A, and then three times sun, and then two times sun sal B. Let's not be too crazy here. Okay, <laughs> and let's let's only hold our downward dog for one breath. So we're really just moving, moving, moving. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, heart forward, head up. Exhale, move it back to Chaturanga. I recommend stepping, but you can jump if you want. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Hold for one breath. Inhale, step the right foot forward or whichever foot you step back. Flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up. Stand up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, heart forward, head up. Exhale, step it back to Chaturanga with the other side. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Hold for one breath. Inhale, step it forward, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach the arms up, coming up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's do one time, let's jump it back this time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, heart forward, head up. Exhale, jump it back to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. 
Exhale, downward facing. Hold for one breath. Inhale, look between the hands and jump it forward. Two, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up to standing. Hands come up overhead. Exhale, hands come to heart center. All right, let's go into B. So let's make sure that we're coming all the way down to the floor with the butt before we come up into chair pose to continue to work out the knees. Yeah? Here we go. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, heart forward, head up. Exhale, let's float it back this time. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Turn the left foot out 45 degrees, step the right foot forward, sweep the hands on the floor, coming up to warrior one. Exhale, place the hands next to the right foot, step the right foot back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Turn the right foot out 45 degrees, step the left foot forward, sweep the hands on the floor, coming up to warrior one. Exhale, place the hands next to the left foot, step the left foot back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Hold for one breath. Inhale, look between the hands. Jump it forward. Flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands come to heart center. One more time. Here we go. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, heart forward, head up. Exhale, move it back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Turn the left foot out 45 degrees. Step the right foot forward. Inhale, up to warrior one. Exhale, hands next to the right foot, step the right foot back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Turn the right foot out 45 degrees, step the left foot forward, inhale, up to warrior one. Exhale, hands come down next to the left foot, left foot steps back down to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Hold for one breath. Inhale, look between the hands, come up onto the toes, jump it forward, flat back, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up to standing, hands up overhead. Exhale, hands come to heart center. All right, now let's get into the sequence, yeah? So at least the first time through, we're going to be mostly moving, moving, moving. So we're going to be repeating things. And then we'll see how it feels after that. We might continue to do the same thing, or we might hold different things. It all depends on how we feel. And of course, that means me, because I'm the one. <laughs> I'm the one here. So. Also, you could also base it on how you feel as well. You can hold stuff or not hold stuff if you, if you want. Actually, I encourage you to do so. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's take a few breaths to recalibrate. So just inhaling and exhaling through the nose a few times. And let's go. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, heart forward, head up. Exhale, move it back to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. 
Inhale, reach the right foot up to the ceiling. Exhale, right knee comes over to the right elbow and bend the elbows. Inhale, right foot comes back to the ceiling. Exhale, right knee comes to right elbow, bend the elbows. Inhale, back up. Exhale, back down. Inhale, back up. Exhale, back down. One more, inhale, back up. Exhale, back down. Hold it there this time. Straighten the arms. Take the left hand toward the center. Rotate over onto the outside of the left foot. Lift the right hand off of the mat. And let's work out our side plank, taking the knee to the elbow. And then straighten the leg, straighten the arm. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, straighten the arm. Three, four, five. Straighten it out. Come back to high plank. Come down all the way onto the belly. And now let's work out the back. Taking the hands in front. And let's inhale, reaching the hands up, reaching the feet up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale, down. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes. Push it up to plank. And now let's go to the other side. So now taking the right hand toward the center, coming onto the inside of the left foot and extending the right foot, so the bottom foot out and bringing the right foot down and then lifting it up for five, two, three, four, five. Bend the knee, place the hands back down, extend the right foot up and then let's come into preparation for wild thing. So bending back, taking the right foot behind us, bringing the butt down, and then we're gonna work out our wild thing five times. Inhale up to wild thing, exhale down. Inhale, wild thing, exhale down. Inhale, wild thing, exhale down. Inhale, wild thing, Exhale, down. Last one, inhale, wild thing. Exhale, look over to the left hand. Come up onto the right toes. And exhale, step the right foot in front of us. Let's take the hands out in front and we're gonna come directly into warrior three. Let's exhale, let's crunch our warrior three, taking the knee toward the nose. Inhale, straighten it out, back to warrior three. Exhale, crunch it. Inhale, straight. Exhale, crunch it. You can also bend the planted leg if you want. Inhale, straight. Two more, exhale, crunch. Inhale, straight. Last one. Exhale, crunch it. <laughs> Inhale, straight. Now let's rotate into half moon here so rotating over to the side taking the hand down if you need it for balance inhale exhale take the left foot down turn it out and come all the way into skandasana on the left now we're going and doing that five times coming up into our half moon inhale exhale over to skandasana on the left Inhale up to half moon. Exhale, skandasana. Inhale, half moon. Exhale, skandasana. Last one. Inhale, half moon. Exhale, skandasana. Sit all the way down in skandasana. Take the right foot, bring it forward. And now we're going to work out the abs a little bit more. So come up into kind of like this modified boat position with the 
right leg up and then come down. And then as we come up, we're gonna reach toward the right foot with the right hand. Two, three, four, five. Now, take the left foot back down, take the right foot back down, grab a hold of the right big toe with the right pace fingers, take the left hand out for balance, and that's right, we're standing all the way up. Here we go, stand up. And exhale, bring the right foot out into airplane. Inhale, back to foot to hand in front. <laughs> and exhale, all the way back down again. This is why we had to work out the knees. Let's do it again. Inhale, up. Exhale, airplane. Inhale, back to our foot to hand. Exhale, all the way down. And let's stay up when we get up this time. Inhale, up. Exhale, airplane. Release the foot. Take it down next to us. Let's just stretch out for a second, taking the hands behind the back and look up toward the ceiling, kind of a slight arch in the back here. Then hold it one, two, three, four, five. Fold forward. Take the shoulders behind to the floor and hold one, two, three, four, five. Inhale up. Exhale, rotate to the front and step it forward. And because this is inspired by trees, let's take a tree pose here. Taking the left foot up, so standing on the right. Taking the left foot up as high as we can so it's not on the knee, anywhere else on the leg besides the knee. Ah, taking the hands to heart center. Closing down the eyes, if possible, and holding. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. All right, beautiful. Let's do the other side. Here we go. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, heart forward, head up. Exhale, move it back to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, left foot comes up. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, bend the elbows. Inhale, back up. Exhale, knee to elbow, bend the elbows. Inhale, up. Exhale, knee to elbow, bend the elbows. Inhale, up. Exhale, knee to elbow, bend the elbows. Inhale, up. Last one, inhale, or exhale, knee to elbow, bend the elbows. Hold it here. Straighten the arms. Take the right hand to the center. Rotate over to the left, coming onto the blade of the right foot, taking the left knee and elbow together. Inhale, straighten them out. Exhale, bend them together. Keep going. Two, three, four, five. Come back into plank. Exhale all the way down. Take the hands out in front and working out the back. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two. Three, four, five. Take the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, push it back into plank. Take the left hand toward the center, rotate onto the inside of the right foot. Take the right hand up toward the ceiling, outstretch the left leg, and bring it down toward the floor five times. One, two, three, four, 
five, bend the left leg, take the right hand down to the floor, inhale the left foot up, exhale down into preparation for wild thing, and then coming up into wild thing five times, inhale up, exhale down, inhale wild thing, exhale down, inhale wild thing, exhale down, inhale wild thing, exhale down, last one, inhale wild thing, exhale, look toward the right hand coming, lifting the left foot off of the mat, taking the left knee toward the chest, stepping forward with the left foot next to the right hand, and let's come all the way into a warrior three here, and let's work out our warrior three. So bending both knees, right knee comes to the nose, and inhale, stretch it out back to warrior three. Knee to nose, inhale, warrior three. Exhale, knee to nose, inhale, warrior three. Exhale, knee to nose, inhale, warrior three. Last one, exhale, knee to nose, inhale, warrior three. Rotate to the left, coming into half moon, inhale, exhale, coming into skandasana on the right, inhale up to half moon, on the left, Woo. <laughs> exhale down to skandasana on the right, inhale, half moon, exhale, skandasana, inhale, half moon, Woo. Exhale, skandasana. Last one. Inhale, half moon. Exhale, skandasana. Sit the butt down, bring the right foot forward, and coming into our boat variation. So having the right knee bent, the left leg straight, and let's work it out. So coming down onto the back and then inhaling up, reaching toward the left foot. Two, three, four, five. All right, take the right foot down, take the left foot down, hold on to the left big toe with the left piece fingers, reaching the right hand out for balance. Inhale, come all the way to standing. Exhale, into airplane. Inhale, back to front. Exhale, sit it down. Again, inhale, up. Exhale, airplane. Inhale, back to center. Exhale. Sit it down. Last one, inhale up. <laughs> Exhale, airplane. Release the left foot. Take the left foot down. Wide, nice wide legs here. Interlace the fingers behind the back in the other direction. Look up toward the ceiling. And hold one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, forward. Forward fold, taking the hands down to the floor, looking up toward the ceiling. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale up. Exhale. Step toward the front of the mat. And let's take our tree here, standing on the left foot, taking the right foot onto the left leg as high up as we can anywhere but the knee and taking the hands to heart center closing down the eyes and holding one two three grounding through that left foot four five beautiful all right let's do it again I think we should just keep doing it like that. So, 
We'll do it like that twice more with one change. In place of the beginning when we go from three-legged dog to our chaturanga with our knee at our elbow, we're, this time we're gonna go directly, instead of doing that, we're gonna go directly into our Ekapada Kundinyasana two, so our flying split. And then we're gonna hold that, and then we're gonna continue with the flow, doing everything else just like we did before, okay? All right, here we go. Hands to heart center, and let's do it. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, heart forward, head up. Exhale, move it back to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, right foot comes up. Exhale, all the way into Ekapada Kundinyasana, two. And hold it here, one, two, looking forward, three, four, five. Drop the left toes down and then go directly into our side plank here. Exhaling as we take the elbow to the knee. Inhaling as we straighten it out. And keep going. Two, three, four, five. And take the right hand down, the right foot down into plank. Coming all the way down to the belly. Reach the arms out. And let's work out the back. Here we go. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two. Three, four, five. Hands under the shoulders, tuck the toes, push it back to plank, rotate to the other side. Right hand comes to the center, rotate onto the inside of the left foot, take the right foot out, and up and down five times. One, two, three, four, five. Bend the right leg. And place the left hand down. Inhale the right foot up. Exhale, come into preparation for wild thing. And let's continue working out the wild. Nah, let's hold the wild thing. Inhale and hold wild thing. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, look down at the left hand. Begin to lift the right toes off of the floor. Exhale, step the right foot down next to the left hand. Inhale, into warrior three. And let's crunch it out, crunching down one. Inhale, out. Crunch down two. Inhale, out. Crunch down three. Inhale, out. Crunch four. Inhale out, crunch five, inhale out, exhale, rotate into half moon, inhale, exhale over to skandasana on the left, inhale into half moon, exhale, skandasana on the left, inhale, half moon, exhale, skandasana. Inhale, half moon. Exhale, skandasana. Inhale, <laughs> half moon. Exhale, skandasana. Place the butt down. Bring the right foot forward. Going into the abs here. And bringing it up into our modified boat. Bringing it down, inhale, reach to the right, foot with the right hand, down, reach, down, reach, down, reach, down, reach, down, reach, and down. All right, 
taking hold of the big toe with the peace fingers. Reach the left hand out for balance. And let's go. Inhale, stand it up. Exhale, out to airplane. Inhale, back to center. Exhale it down. Inhale it up. Exhale, airplane. Inhale to center. Exhale down. Inhale up. <laughs> exhale, airplane. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. Take the left foot down. Interlace the fingers behind the back. And arch in the back. Look up. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale, fold forward. Take the hands toward the floor and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, come up. Exhale. Step it forward. All right, we can take whichever variation of tree we'd like. We can continue to say, take the same variation, or we can take our half lotus here if we want instead. So taking the left foot toward the right hip, or you can do it just like we did it before. Taking the hands to heart center, or if you want, you can bind the foot with the left hand. And closing down the eyes, <laughs> and hold one, two, three, four, five. Woo! All right. Halfway done. Let's go to the other side. Let's do it. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, heart forward, head up. Exhale, move it back to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Remember, we're going into flying split here. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale, all the way into our flying split and holding one, looking forward, two, three, four, five. Take the right toes down and Bring the right hand toward the center. Swing the left leg out. Reach the left hand up. And exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale out. Exhale, knee to elbow. Three. Four. Five. Left hand comes down. Left foot comes down to plank. All the way down to chaturanga. Outstretch the feet. Take the hands forward, and let's work up the back. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Take the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, push it up to plank, and going the other direction, bring the left hand forward, rotating to the inside of the right foot, Reaching the right hand up, outstretching the left leg, and let's work it out. One, two, three, four, five. Bend the left leg, take the right hand down, and stretch the left foot up to the ceiling. Bend the left leg, come down into preparation for wild thing. Inhale up to wild thing and hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Look down toward the right hand, lift the left foot off of the mat, step forward with the left foot next to the right hand, inhale into warrior three, and let's work it out. Inhale, or exhale, sorry, knee to nose. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale, knee to nose. 
Inhale, stretch it out. Knee to nose. Stretch it out. Knee to nose. Stretch it out. Last one. Knee to nose. Stretch it out. Rotate into half moon. And exhale. Skandasana on the right. Inhale up to half moon. Exhale. Skandasana. Inhale. Half moon. Exhale. Skandasana. Inhale. Ardha Chandrasana. Exhale. Skandasana. Inhale. Woo! <laughs> Ardha Chandrasana. Exhale. Skandasana. Last round's gonna be fun, huh? Let's sit the butt down. Take the left foot forward. And coming into our boat thing. Exhaling down. Inhaling up, reaching toward the left foot. Down. Two. Three. Four. Five. And sit it up. And reaching toward the left big toe with the left peace fingers. Take the right hand out for balance. And let's go. Inhale, stand it up. Exhale, out to airplane. Inhale, back to center. Exhale it down. Inhale it up. Exhale to airplane. Inhale to center. Woo! <laughs> that was totally cheating. Exhale down. <laughs> Inhale up. <laughs> Exhale airplane. Inhale. Exhale, place the left foot down. Interlace the fingers the other direction behind the back. Inhale, arch the back. Look up. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale, forward fold. Take the hands down to the floor. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, step it forward. And coming into our tree variation. Ah, oh, there are so many mosquitoes around me. <laughs> Standing on the left foot, taking the right foot up, either onto the same way we did the first time or into the left hip. You can bind to the foot if you want to, or you can take the hands to heart center. Close down the eyes and hold one. Two, three, four, five. Take the right foot down. All right, so we're making one more change in this round. So you can do it the same as we just did in the same part that we made the change. So coming into Ekapada Kondinyasan 2. So coming into Flying Split or now your third option is that we can jump into eight angles pose. So by the time I put this up, I promise I will have made a class on eight angles pose because I don't think that I've taught this in a class before and I don't wanna teach it now. So <laughs> I will link a class here that teaches you how to do it if you want to choose that option. If you don't know how to do it yet, my recommendation is to finish through this practice and then learn it. And then next time you do the practice, then you can try it. Or you can do whatever you want. All right. Let's do it. Yeah. Here we go. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, heart forward, head up. Exhale, move it back to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. And now we're jumping directly into eight angles over on the right. Here we go. Jumping 
crossing the legs and coming into the pose, holding one, two, three, four, five. Taking the left leg, bringing it through the arms, and now coming into our flying split. And let's hold it, why not? One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Take the left toes down, reach the right foot up to the side, lifting the right arm up, and let's crunch it out. One, two, three, four, five. Right hand comes down, right foot comes down into plank. Bend the arms all the way down to the belly. Reach the arms out, working out the back. Here we go. Inhale up, down, two, three, four, five. Hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes. Inhale up to plank and place the right hand toward the center, coming onto the inside of the left foot. Extend the right foot out and let's work it out. One, two, three, four, five. Bend the right leg, place the left hand down. Inhale the right foot up. Exhale, let's go directly into a wild thing this time. And drop the heel down if possible. And hold one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, begin to come out. Exhale, step the right foot next to the left hand. Inhale, come up into warrior three. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, 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 warrior three. Exhale, rotate into half moon. Inhale. Exhale, skandasana on the left. Inhale, half moon. Exhale, skanda. Inhale, half moon. Exhale, skanda. Inhale, half moon. Exhale, skanda. Inhale, Half moon. Exhale. Skanda. Sit it down. Take the right foot forward and lean it back. And inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Two. Three. Four. Five and sit it up. Grab a hold of the right big toe with the right piece fingers, taking the left hand out for balance, and let's stand it up. Inhale, up, exhale, airplane. Inhale, center, exhale, down. <laughs> Inhale, up. Exhale, airplane, inhale, center, exhale, down. Here we go, last one, <laughs> inhale, up, exhale, airplane, inhale, hold it, exhale, take the right foot down, interlace the fingers, arch the back, slightly look up, one, Two, three, four, five. Fold it forward. Ah, taking the hands down to the floor. One, 
two, three, four, five. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, step it forward. Now, let's take any one-legged standing posture that you want here. So, if you wanna continue with the tree, great. If you wanna take any other standing posture on which you have one foot planted and the other foot up, take it. Yeah? I'm going to go into standing compass because it's my favorite pose. So, stand onto the right foot and take your pose and see if you can continue to close the eyes. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Woo! Almost there. Other side. Let's do it. Inhale. Arms up. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Heart forward. Head up. Exhale, move it back to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, uh, jumping straight into our eight angles here. Here we go. Jump. And coming into eight angles. One, two, three four, five, and threading the right leg through the arms, taking it back to flying split. One, two, three, four, five, take the right foot down, and rotate over to the right, bringing the left hand up, right foot up, and exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, straighten it out. Two, three, four, five. Take the left hand down, take the left foot down. Exhale all the way down to the floor. Reach the hands out. Let's get into the back. Here we go. Inhale, up, down. Two, three. Four, five. Place the hands underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes. Push it up to plank. Take the left hand to the center. Rotate onto the inside of the right foot. Reach the right hand up. Outstretch the left leg. And let's work it out. One, two, three, four, five. Bend the right left leg, place the right hand down. Inhale, stretch the left leg up. Exhale, coming all the way into wild thing, taking the heel down if possible, and holding one, two, three, four, five. Looking down toward the right hand. Inhale, begin to come out of the pose. Exhale, step the left foot next to the right hand. Inhale, into warrior three. Exhale, crunch it out. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, crunch. 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 Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, rotate into half moon. Inhale, exhale over to Skandasana on the right. Inhale up to half moon. Exhale, Skandasana. Inhale, half moon. Exhale, Skanda. Inhale, half moon. Exhale, skanda. Inhale, half moon. Exhale, 
skanda, sit it down, bring the left foot forward, reach the hands forward, coming onto the back, and inhale it up, reaching toward the left foot, exhale down, two, three, four, five, and sit it up, reach for the left big toe with the left peace fingers, right hand out for balance, here we go, inhale, stand it up, exhale, airplane, inhale, center, exhale, down, inhale, up, exhale, airplane, inhale, center, exhale, down, inhale, up, exhale, airplane, inhale, center, oops, <laughs> exhale, airplane, inhale, release, exhale, down, interlace the fingers, inhale, look up toward the ceiling, and hold one, two, three, four, five, exhale, forward fold, hands down to the floor, holding one, two, three, four, five, inhale, up to standing, exhale, step it forward, and taking any standing posture on the left foot, here we go, standing on the left, taking the right up however we want, and holding, trying to close the eyes, one, two, <laughs> three, four, five, all right, <laughs> okay, let's stretch it out, I'm definitely going to have to leave you in Shavasana today, these mosquitoes are already trying to eat me and I'm moving, so I'm going to have to go inside for Shavasana and leave you there. But I think it's a good time. All right, anyway, let's let's move. Inhale up. Exhale forward fold. Inhale, heart forward, head up. Exhale last time moving it back to chaturanga. Inhale upward facing. Exhale downward facing. Inhale, right foot comes up. Exhale, right foot comes between the hands. Take the left knee down. Walk the right foot out and come down into lizard. We can work out our lizard here, moving our hips back and forth, or you can stay static, whatever feels best for you right now. All right, and let's take our left hand, we'll reach it back toward the left foot, and let's work out that left quad. And while we're doing so, we can come up onto the blade with the right foot, and we can also allow for our right knee to go toward the floor. Let's inhale. Exhale, push the left foot toward the left glutes. Two, three, four, five. And hold it here, opening up the upper body to the left, the right knee to the right. Two, three, four, Five. Release the back foot and rotate to the center, taking our right foot straight and let's work out our straddle here. You can have the feet flexed or pointed here. 
Inhale to the right. Exhale over to the left. Inhale up. Exhale to the right. Inhale up. Exhale left. Inhale up. Exhale right. Inhale up. Exhale left. Inhale. Exhale right. Inhale. Exhale left. Inhale. Exhale right. Inhale. Exhale left and hold it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale up. Exhale to the right and hold it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale up to center. Little last bit of work. Let's bring it down. Hover the hands and bring it up again. Two. Three. Four. Five. And bring it down and hold it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale. Bring it up. Take the right foot. Bring it toward the center. Inhale. Up into Fallen Triangle. One last time. <laughs> Exhale. Bring the left hand down. Inhale. Left foot comes up. Exhale. Or right foot comes up. Sorry. Exhale. Right foot comes down. Let's do the other side. Inhale. Left foot up. Exhale. Left foot between the hands. Take the right knee down. The right top of the foot down. Coming into our lizard lunge. Working out our lizard. So either moving the hips around or staying static, whichever feels best for you right now in this moment. <sighs> oh my goodness. It's mosquitoes. Stop. <laughs> All right, reaching for the right foot with the left hand and working out to the quads here. Bring the foot toward the glutes. Inhale it out. Exhale foot toward the glutes. Three, four, five, and opening up the upper body to the right. The left knee down toward the floor and holding one, two, three, Four, five, let's bring it back up. And rotating over to the other side of the mat, but I'm going to turn to face you. And working out the straddle in the other direction. So we're gonna come over the foot toward, toward the knee this time. So forward, inhale up, exhale, left hand to the right foot. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale to the right. Inhale to the left. Inhale to the right. Inhale to the left. Inhale to the right. Inhale to the left. And hold it. One. Two. Three, four, five. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, fold over the right leg. One, two, three, four, five. 
Inhale, up. Exhale, take the left foot toward the center. Inhale, up into fallen triangle. Exhale, take the right hand down. Lift the left foot up to the ceiling and exhale it down. All right, just a little bit more stretching and then we will find our Shavasana and I will get inside away from the mosquitoes. All right, inhale, right foot up. Exhale, right knee and foot to the floor into our pigeon position. So one more time, stretch out those quads. They're probably going to appreciate us taking extra care to stretch them out a little bit more. So pushing the left foot toward the glutes, taking the right hand onto the right knee, holding one, two, using the mind to relax the quads, three, four, five, taking the foot into the left elbow, reaching the right hand up, looking forward, and taking our mermaid, one, two, three, four, five, release. Let's take the right foot forward, coming into our Taking the right foot forward, folding over into our half pigeon here. So I tried to design the practice in such a way that we wouldn't need too much stretching at the end and that we were kind of more getting some of it throughout a little bit we were going different directions so we were both going into the abs but also into the back into the legs right into the arms but also stretching the arms and that was also in part inspired by the trees because they just were moving in all the directions yesterday and yeah I I quite enjoy to always be moving in all the directions in my practices versus doing the traditional, oh, now let's, you know, counter it with this at this time, da, 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 that. Uh, I think that if we allow the body to know that it can always move in different directions, then it learns that it can always move in different directions and it won't give us problems. All right, on that note, let's go ahead and come up and let's tuck the back toes. Inhale the right foot up and exhale it down. Inhale, left foot comes up. Exhale, coming into our pigeon position. Inhaling the right foot up. Exhale, pushing the right foot toward the glutes, taking the left hand to the knee. And holding here, one, two, three, four, five. And coming into our mermaid, taking the right foot into the right elbow, reaching the left hand to the right hand, looking forward, holding one, two, three, four, Five, and let's release. Taking the left foot forward, or taking however we take our half pigeon, falling forward over the left leg. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, I'm even wearing bug spray and probably sweat it all off. I think it's also because it's later in the day. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh!
All right, and let's bring it up. Let's inhale, put left foot up. Exhale it down. Let's come onto the knees and let's take one last posture before we get to our twists. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just covered in mosquito bites right now. All right, let's take a cow face. So we're going to sit on the butt. We're going to take the right knee over the left knee, bringing the feet out to either side. You can either take it this hatha style. You can either take it hatha style, or you can have the feet so that they are together in the back. It's much more comfortable to take the hatha style, and that's what I'm doing right now. So <laughs> take the right arm up and the left arm down. And so now we are holding on to our hands or reaching our hands toward each other to get a nice stretch in our shoulders and the arms here, since we just did quite a lot for the whole body. And hold it, looking up. One, two, three, four, five. And let's release. Switch legs. Taking the left foot down. Nope, the right foot down, the left foot over. And taking the left hand up, the right hand down, grabbing a hold of the hands or bringing them close together, looking up and holding one, two, three, four, five, and release. And let's come on to the back and work out our, oh my goodness, <laughs> work out our twists. And then I'm going the F inside for Shavasana and leaving you to be in Shavasana and enjoy it without me. <laughs> Twisting over the right leg, the right knee over to the left the right arm down to the right, right shoulder down, looking over to the right. Hmm. Inhaling to find any tension in the body, exhaling to release the tension in the body. And bring it back to center. Right leg comes down. Left knee comes up to the chest. And the left knee crosses over to the right. Left shoulder comes down to the left. Gaze comes over to the left. Ah, yeah. Inhaling to find tension. Exhaling to release it. And yeah, let's bring it back to center. And finding our Shavasana, taking our feet to the corners of the mat, allowing our hands to rest by the sides, closing down the eyes. Thank you so much for being here with me. Huh. I love you guys so much. Seriously. I really hope you enjoyed this practice. And I really hope you enjoy your Shavasana. So to help you stay in Shavasana, a couple things that I like to do are to scan through the body, re relaxing from the toes up to the top of the head. And then once I finish that, then 
I begin to count backwards from 27 down to 1 if I feel like I'm having difficulty just lying there. And then once you get to 1, you can go ahead and come out. Make sure that you gently go back into your day from there. And I will see you in the next class. Please enjoy your Shavasana.